I know you have this problem. You're writing your trailer cue and looking for the signature sound. The sound that's going to, like, bring all the character, all the easingness. And sometimes you get lost in this wormhole of time when all you're doing is sifting through synth presets and twiddling knobs in your DAW. (laughs) And it sucks. Because you've spent all this time creating this beautiful track and you just cannot find the signature sound you're looking for. What do you do? So I've got a little uh, little trailer idea coming up here, right? So let's have a listen. This is going to be epic, by the way. <laughs> you can tell it's, it's pretty long. Here it is. Yes, I mean, that is entirely unoriginal string writing, uh, but it works. So let's just just do a couple of things first, just to kind of get this uh, sexified. Um, Let's put OTT on. Yay! Why not? Uh, And then let's let's put it in a space as well, Uh, you know, just to kind of give it a bit more trailer oomph. Uh, let's see. Yes. So you've spent all your time with this, with this great idea and you cannot find the signature sound. I mean, I've done that so many times and then I just get annoyed and I feel sad and angry that I can't find it and I'm wasting time. And then I end up just stopping (laughs) except except when i have gone to myself hey you know what i'm a creative guy i've got tons of tools and i don't mean hammers and screwdrivers i mean music tools that will enable me to do this and rather than looking trying to find that sound why don't i try and create that sound so those of you who've gone through my walkthroughs and know my output, you will know that most of my signature sounds are organic. And I don't mean organic as in they come from a Soil Association certified organic farm. I mean that they are organic. They come from an organic source. And again, not a Soil Association organic farm. I mean a real thing. And yes, some of you are going, well, hold on. Synthesize is a real thing. Yes, synth- I've, I've, calm down. I'm thinking about things like instruments, found sounds. And most of my stuff comes from what I've got in this room. And oftentimes it's recorded with this here microphone, which is the Rode Podcaster. Those of you who are audio nerds will obviously be nodding your head going, that's a quality mic. Well done, Richard. You should be recording professional audio on that. <laughs> So, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to use this podcaster. We're going to create a signature sound. Uh, because we don't, you know, we don't want to waste our time looking when we could be creating. So, you're ch- you're taking it from like a passive, where is it, where is it, to I don't need it because I'm going to make it. So, here we go. So, first of all, let's load up an audio uh, thingamajigger uh, channel. <laughs> um yeah, I'm a bit tired today, guys. Hello. Yes, the the thing is working. So let's hit record and see what happens. Mm, hey, let's. There's my note. Okay, here we go. Yes, that's the money. <laughs> okay, I thought logic was going to crash on me then. It was all going to be over. Uh, so I'm just normalizing it. And I'm going to snip it, you know, like a poor neutered cat. Oh, logic is really struggling. Uh, and I'm just going to fade in a little bit. And let's let's have a listen to it in situ. See how awful it sounds. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, there's a couple of ways I can approach this. I could kind of start mangling this audio as is. Um, 
no, that is pretty much the only way I'm going to approach it. Uh, let's just mangle it as is. Uh, the, one of the things I'd like to do is I'm going to keep it in mono because I want my signatures front and center. And also this mic is mono and I can't bother to record it in stereo. Um, so let's uh, get a pitch shifter. And we're going to go, hello, pitch shifter, mono pitch shifter. Let's put the mix up 100% down at 12 semitones. And let's hear it. <laughs> Doesn't that sound cool? I'm going to bounce that in place as my... Uh, I want to call it my beast orgasm because it kind of sounds like um, the orgasmic noise of a beast. You know, he's getting close and he's done in slow motion, of course. Right now, that's enough filth. Uh, let's um, do a couple of things. I, I like smashing things. I don't mean with hammers, although that's quite fun too. I mean with compressors and saturation and distortion, etc. So big fan of Logic's compressor. I'm just going to compress compress it first. Classic classic VCA. Liberator on. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oof. At the end, I'm just going to take that off because it's actually a bit of a... Let's just sort that clip out. There we go. Okay, now let's um, smash it some more. We're going to load up, of course, Sound Toys Decapitator. Of course I am. Uh, I, can't remember, I, want to, I want to create a signature sound, something that sounds... Interesting. I mean, that just sounds epic. <laughs> Now let's check it in a big space. Uh, big space. Well, let's start with this one first. See how oh my goodness. Okay, so one of the things I should really have checked before I didn't hear this was... My tuning. Uh, oh, let's check my tuning. I get the. F I know I kind of slide in and out, uh, but you know sometimes it's good to be a little bit in tune. Okay, so let's just put the pitch shifter back on, uh, and it's. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, what I might do. What happens if I start it there? Yeah, maybe I'm going to chop it. Uh, like Chopin, that famous pianist. Uh, don't joke. Yes. Uh, now I like the the beastly one. Uh, oh, wrong channel. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the space a little bit. I think the big Gothic church is a bit excessive, really, isn't it? Perhaps like a large pub. That'll be a. So that's better. Now let's go to the original one, and I'm going to pitch shift this one down. I mean, I could pitch shift down. In fact, there, let's just do that. Let's go crazy. Let's pitch shift it down. 24 semitone. That's more of like intro stuff, that is. I mean, if I just mute the strings. Yeah, that's that's intro stuff. So let's just uh, smush, smush, smush. Uh, give it more detail, more grit. So let's load up Native Instruments, Supercharger GT, Super Dig Dig D. Again, same thing. It's just, oh, no, don't want to do the loop. <laughs> you, could get, you could get some great start, sound material from just the, at the end of that. 
um, saturation all the way, moderate. Uh, nice and tight. Long release. Let's give it a bit of character. Fat character. 100% mix. Yeah, that's good. Um, now let's... Should we just try something a little bit interesting? Uh, where are you? My retro colour. A little bit of wobble. Vinyl wobble. Not noise, though. Too much wobble. Too much digital. Put it in the space. <laughs> uh, let's put that in a space too. Let's go for Valhalla Supermassive. Yay. Uh, again, what well, I'm just... It's about play. Oh, okay, that's the business. That is the business. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just having a look at this. Delay 300 milliseconds. Let's go to delay 144. Let's see how that sounds. That's a bit better. And let's take the low one down a touch. And let's hear it from the start. And hear how our new beastly sounds sound. See, it's that, they sound great. And they sound like nothing else, you know? Uh, well, within uh, within reason. So you could you could just sort of say, okay, well perhaps this is gonna be this is gonna be my my thing. I'm just gonna load up I'm gonna load up a hit a couple of hits. And I like the fact it's kind of out of tune. It's, it's unnerving. It's horribly unnerving, actually. Just realised I didn't. I didn't apply the. Uh, oh no, not the tuner. I didn't apply the the, the mild pitch shifting to the original signal. So let me just sort that. Sort it out, mate. No semitones, 100% mix. Oh, there we go. Now what we can do is we can, because we've got this original source audio here, um, not the company, uh, but this uh, source audio of me groaning, uh, we can also now start to just mess around with what part of the sample I use. That's the one, isn't it? That's the one. And then this is like the the uh the finisher. Not not literally, but you know. So if I just move this along and we'll just do that kind of really original thing of copying and pasting my ideas. Let's have a listen, shall we? Uh, I'm I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just sketching this, moving everything around. I'm gonna start with my low strings, bring in the high strings, then the drums, uh, then the sound, then the sound again, and then the finisher, and that'll be the track. <laughs> and there's our power down. Right, so this is like really rough and ready. But you get the idea, guys, don't you? I mean, I, I think that... That could sell a cue. That... And then you just start to... Well, perhaps I'm going to bring in my cello. Perhaps I'm going to bring in some synths to layer that. We've taken a sound that sounded terrible. But all of a sudden, your cue has all this character just because you used a cheap microphone and recorded using your voice, which is free. Well, hopefully it's free. I don't know why it wouldn't be free, but, you know. So, 
what are your takeaways here? I mean, how can you come away from this episode, this video, this podcast? How can you come away from this a changed person? Uh, with these ideas, guys, even with orchestral stuff, you can sample found sounds. You can sample yourself. You can create your own signature sounds from around you. Don't You don't have to look to the expensive synths or even the cheap synths. Try to get yourself in a creative space. Don't waste your time looking for the sound when you can maximize your time by creating. And also, it just gets your creating chops up. It gets your production chops up. It's just more fun. So, uh, you guys are absolute legends. I cannot wait to hear your signature sounds on the next big trailers. See ya.